there's an infinite number of possible futures that we can have as people. And this overabundance of dystopian media gives people a very narrow view of what is possible. It makes people not want to dream. It makes people want to be apathetic and just check out and enjoy the moment without building something new and better. Solarpunk art is a speculative fiction genre in which the artist imagines a what a equitable and sustainable future would look like. I was first inspired by the book The Fifth Sacred Thing by Starhawk. She wrote her books before solar punk was even a thing, but in a lot of ways her books fit the criteria. And in that book, she reimagines San Francisco, where she lived, as what we would describe as a solar punk utopia. So that inspired me to reimagine where I live in that same way. Plain air painting is um, just a fancy way of saying painting landscapes or drawing landscapes outdoors from life. It's like the landscape equivalent to figure drawing. I got inspired to do this piece when I was stuck in traffic one day. I have set up my life around not getting stuck in traffic. <laughs> I really hate it. A lot of times where my mind wanders is like, how could this be better? What could be different? Rather than ruminating on what's so terrible about it. I wasn't expecting people to be able to see me on the overpass, but apparently people could because I got a lot of honking and waving, which was distracting, but also very sweet. So my vision for this project was basically trying to imagine a transportation system in which traffic just wouldn't happen. And what I ended up coming up with is a having a high-speed rail going all the way up and down Highway 1, which would be located in the center of the freeway, going both directions. Then next to that, a line of trees, and then a transfer station where buses could stop and people could get off of the local buses and transfer to the high-speed rail. I also imagine that there would be some kind of permit system. So only emergency vehicles, people who need a lot of gear, like landscapers and transportation vehicles would have the permits to drive on the roads with the buses. Then there wouldn't be traffic. In some ways, like a system like this feels inaccessible because of um, the way our system is now so optimized for individual cars but I want people to feel inspired to think of their own solutions. I also really enjoy painting people doing land restoration work. I think plein air throughout its history has been used to romanticize certain lifestyles. If I can help romanticize caring for the land as a lifestyle, that's really meaningful to me. The future is not set in stone, and we're really creating the future right now. Doing this art is really important to me personally because I have always had a very dystopic view of the future ever since I was a little kid before I even had the words to describe it. I've always had like a lot of catastrophic thinking related to the climate and politics. Doing this art is really a way for me to like absorb and ground down into possibility. All the incredible ideas and work that so many people are doing to create a future in which we respond productively to climate change and so many other challenges that we face. And so ultimately, it's a way for me to practice hope.